Greetings, everyone. Hello, Pador from Florida. How's it going? Oh, I'm just getting settled in here. Uh, oh, yeah, and it looks like I have my uh, audio on over here. Love when that happens. All right. That seems to be going well. Hey, Queen, how's it going? Nice to see you. Do I actually... I don't actually have DDO open. I have also other junk open, but not DDO, so let's get that going. And I'll switch over there to that. We'll get this show started. I see Twitch had a blip there, just as I was trying to start. Hopefully that's just intermittent. Yeah, I sadly didn't have Mings for dinner either. Unfortunately. Let's see, we're going to go with Coley, I think. Hey, Skunk, how's it going? I see OBS had an update that I distinctly did not do right before I started streaming. <laughs> That's always a bad, bad thing to do. Upgrade your software right before you start streaming. Not a good idea. Okay, looks like chat's going, keyboard's going, dragon cam's going, server, everything looks good. Awesome. So here we are. Yeah, Queen, I saw you had a problem streaming the other day. I don't know what you were doing, but I did see you had problems with your, what was that, Raid Night streaming with Dag? Something like that. Alright, I've got a couple links from DDO preloaded that we can talk about if we need something to talk about. But for now, let's see what the parties are. Got several parties going. Good, good, good. Make sure I get that. This needs that activated. That activated. I'm going to play this character for a little bit. Ooh, that sounds horrible. I don't know if I can deal with that. So Vaughn 1 through 4 looks good. Bunch of EE stuff. Let's go Vaughn 1 through 4. Maybe. Yeah, that, that's probably the same effect it would have on me, Queen. Oh, that's why I need to get flow up so I can actually read chat on screen here. I really like chatty, but... Oh, that's nice. I got declined to join a party. That hasn't happened in a while. Oh, then he invited me anyway. Okay. Weird. I don't know, I've noticed some people do that, and I don't understand what it is, why they would decline once and then go ahead and accept right after. I didn't realize this was EE. But it is. I've missed a whole lot of bonus now, not quite a whole lot, but some. Weird. Oh, that, I never did finish using flow. There we go. Now it's on top. Now I can read. 
much easier. Different connection for the headset. That's at least it's an easy fix. Just yeah. No, I'm pretty squishy on the this character, especially in an arena setting. I may have done this before, but it was more than one person. I'm pretty sure. But hey, he's selling it as a wizard, so whatever. No. Yeah, it dropped that a while back, and I don't know why it hasn't. And of course, Flow isn't in active development, so there's no way to get support or a fix for it. It's like a couple years out of date now. That's one of the reasons I switched to Chatty for most stuff, but Flow is still handy for the uh, overlay transparency aspect, so I still use it for that. I don't think I have Invis. It makes this part a little bit exciting. Yeah, it's kind of annoying not to be able to see the who's who. I accidentally hackered like half the dungeon, sorry dude. I'll go into sneaking now. Yeah, I definitely was pulling a train there. So if you haven't tried Chatty, I would highly recommend it for second screen or just um, keeping track of chat better. Ah. Here we go, I can get some assassinates on these guys. It's nice. Um, yeah, I like it a lot better. Overall, it just doesn't have that transparency, which is so handy with flow. Man, that's so handy. Um, this whole actually getting hit, fighting head to head thing isn't working for me. Is this a heal? Yeah, this is heal. That's better. Agreed. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, we uh, kind of got overwhelmed there. We were okay until the crowd control wore off and then he got hit and I got hit without much time to do anything. He's suffering lag, so hopefully these two new people who came in will help.
I've been having everything being okay except this other laptop. The older laptop is just constantly out of memory and running slow and stuff, so something's wrong with it. But just for watching chat, it's easy. It works fine. Hey, Jared K. Fan, how's it going? So, Queen, I take it from yesterday that you're going to want to do uh, Haunted Halls for uh, Zerg Joe. I have to readjust to playing this character again because I've been playing Shaw and uh, Craig mostly, where it's just walk up and start wailing on people. I haven't really given Coley here some that much love lately. I really want to just get to 24 so I can. Hey, wise man, equip my new. Uh, Level 24 Cove uh, spyglass that I just got. I went in and got the level 20 as well, but I also got the 24. That open lock extra is a little handy. Let's see, what even do I have here? Oh, yeah, I could have done that. Don't I have... Why, oh, thank you. Yay, we're good. Yeah, if we can figure out how to do that. Might have to be power leveled to get up there. Or I can actually be run, but yeah. That's kind of the plan of the Zerg show, is go wherever, whoever wants to show off their uh, knowledge and uh, do the thing. And if that means... Uh, is working on or power leveling on servers I don't normally play on to do that. I'm more than happy to do that. It's kind of part of the whole show thing is being able to go wherever people have the tools to do it. That was ridiculous. That was a real champion and a half there. Man. Yeah, if it's more than one person, that's fine too. That was kind of the idea of having, you know, two or three hosts and then however many people to, uh, Show off the zerging. Wolfenson's monocular enhancer. It's wild. I've never seen one of those before. 
Not to say that I haven't, I just don't remember it. I'm probably going to set up a uh, separate Slack for that. I don't know if I need to... I don't know how Slack works, so I need to talk to Cordovan and see if we can figure out... Um, how to get... Whether well, it needs to be a sub Slack of the DDS stream one or how that works, I don't know. Whoa, he saved against my assassinate. That's not cool. That was supposed to be a one hit kill. What the heck? I thought my DC was better than that. Oh, incendiary cloud. Let's not wander into that. He died again. I'm trying to get to where I can actually just. like that. Just kill some folks here. Not necessarily at the champions, but... There we go. Champion worked that time. Get out of these stupid incendiary clouds. Go back to sneaking. You didn't see me. I wasn't there. It wasn't me. Oops. Don't gotta sneak. So, Miss, Skunk, Queen, Dag, Flippy, we got a party. Just got to get all the technical details worked out and scheduled and all that. attention to me, I'm not here. I'm not here. Yeah, you keep kiting those guys and I'll just come up behind them and kill them. It's cool. Oh, my timer wasn't off yet. Shaman. Yeah, that's part of what I want out of it, is to play with people that, you know, due to the whole we play on cer different servers things we don't really play, get to play with it. So. I'm all for the this is getting ridiculous. Take out a couple of the shaman. I don't know if I can... Let's see, do I have scrolls? I don't have scrolls hotbar. I probably don't have scrolls, which is a failure on my part, because I should have them. If I could get out of the middle of all the mobs, if I could stand up. Did I completely miss that or what? No, I just wasn't sneaking for some reason. I 
And I really wish you guys wouldn't tight them towards me. That would be cool. Hey, ZL Purple, how's it going? Looks like personal emergency heal is necessary. <laughs> that was awesome. He slowed me, and then I got greater commanded, and then I got one-shotted. That was awesome. That was an awesome combination, I must say. <laughs> and we have lag because all the mobs we aren't clearing in time, so the mobs in the previous wave are still out. We're getting the mobs for the next wave. And just not working well. At least now I can look at my inventory and see if I have those. I thought I had res scrolls, and I guess I'm out. I have the skill for that, don't I? I've got enough UMD for that. Ew, I only have 37. Uh, because my charisma is so low. So I can probably raise dead, but not so much resurrect. So yeah, we'll have to figure all that stuff out for that. I want to get the slack thing set up, figure that out, and then that way it's easier to coordinate at least a bunk skunk mist and I. I know Miss said he needed a couple weeks before he was ready to start, but we can start the communications at least. I see what he's doing. He's doing aggro management. Come into my crowd control. Yeah, all I have is that PDK over there, so I'm not going to be doing anything quickly without assistance, but we can figure that out. It's not like we have to start there either. Oh, I, I was thinking, you know, the first show or two would be, be more of, you know, here's some build things to consider, here's some abilities to have, here's some things to scroll, for potions, all that stuff. Get some of that figured out in the first couple shows, just as you know, background preparation, and do really quick, easy, low-level stuff that we could do anywhere. First life, no problem. Like Cobalt's and Ringleader and that sort of stuff. Here's how to do this really quick and easy. Run here, jump the boxes, run here, you're done. You have a 4K display, that's cool. I still want to do the triple monitor thing at some point. That's my big thing that I want to do. Champion Mephit got him. <laughs> Just running out and wailing. That's an interesting way to do it.
Hey Demo Peace, how's it going? Welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many deaths we have so far? 13, nice. Yay! Why are we going this way? I'm confuzzled. Where are we going? Wasn't there a shrine right back there? Not doing too bad, although I think we're kind of overmatched for E right now. At least the champions. We're doing okay until we run into champions that uh, don't obey crowd control or assassinate. Oh, I see what we did. Clever. We detoured. I didn't see the detour. So Peter Zabar Stones detoured so we can run all the way back to the shrine, although I'm running faster than him, so that's not working out very well. Ice cream. I had ice cream earlier, so I'm good. My reward for mowing most of the lawn. Although it was the SS ice cream. Oops. It wasn't my ice cream. I already used a skin I had it I have Alright. Once more into the breach. After this quest, I'll put up a, one of the previous discussion topics I had up. Let's see. Let's go with... For those who haven't seen it, there are new quarterly wallpapers up. a small thing, but it's neat to, to have those and have them be updated. Hey, City Plays DDO, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well this evening. Oh. This is true. Although sometimes the Twitch notifications are even worse than the uh, Twitter. Ooh, ice cream sandwich. We had some weird, like, waffle cone embedded briars ice cream thing that I had. It was odd. No, that didn't work. No assassinate on the wolf. Uh, this one. Nope. Yep. Got it. Mmm. Salted caramel. Let's take his sidekick out first. Let's 
Say goodbye to all of your stats, dude. Ooh, you don't like me, or do you? Come here. Sam. I'm pretty conservative. I like, usually just like mint chocolate chip. That's my ice cream choice. Yay. I'm not opposed to something carbon. It's not my favorite. Hello, free sneak attacks. How are you? Voices. Do I have a voice on here? Don't think so. No, I never did get a voice. That's a jewel. That isn't even a mantle. Character deficiencies. Love them. Mind if I do, I'll take that chest too. No, I never reroll. What the heck? Never, ever, ever waste my shards on rerolling. So that didn't end, or that didn't go on very long. He's too lag to worry about it running. So, what are other choices? No. 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 Wow. Not many good choices here today. Yeah, right. Me playing my Assassin Rogue, which I almost never play, and getting owned on Elite. Yeah. Don't think it's quite the one to take note of. Let's see if we can get some scrolls. I can raise dead just fine. Can't really resurrect, but raise dead I can do. Let's go ahead and take some of those. And put them here. 
Yeah. That should help a bit. Is that hit points? Having 175, 130 is bad? Huh. All right, so the next big topic to discuss is this. I thought I muted. Uh, excuse me. Ah. Uh, 175, 130, that sounds, uh, yeah, pretty out of whack. Nothing really I want to do there. So if y'all haven't seen it, there's some upcoming experience changes. The one I don't understand is the pausing of your bravery streak. I don't get that. I do like the if you die, it only affects your XP, not everybody else's. Do you need to repair after the three deaths I had? Something like that. Hello. There we go. Yeah, lots of damage. I was hoping to run this character a little bit longer, but uh, nobody... And I'm lagging horribly. Awesome. Yep, horrible lag there. I just want to get to the vendor, thank you. Well, so I understand that Bravery Bonus came about is to try to get people to run different quests, not just the same quests over and over, and partially to encourage grouping, so you group for the harder content and then get on that train, but it kind of ended up just making it so that people only bring an elite and then if you're a first life or a new character without a bunch of twink gear, then you kind of get left behind or you just rely on everybody, you know, making their own way through. And your grouping is only elite now pretty much in heroics and in epics. It's a lot of either do spies, whiz king, Vaughn three, and maybe, um, the other one. Can't think of my head. Do your daily grind of that on normal just because it's faster or get into the bigger, better stuff on EE and that's your choice. So I I don't know. I like the suggestions people have of let's just increase the first time playthrough bonus to the equivalent and call it good. Bravery bonus is kind of weird and tricky and no one can see it but you and there's all this other stuff about it that I don't really deal with it. I like having it when I can get on that TR train kind of stuff. But then once I hit epics, I hardly do EEs, so it doesn't matter anymore. It only matters the first time anyway. So if you stay, like none of my characters have heroic to reincarnated yet, so they're all, if they're epic, then they've done them. Pretty much, there's no rare bonus left to get. So I don't know. Is there anything I can actually solo on this character? 
I don't think there is. Okay, so short break to switch over to just bring Shaw out. Yeah, I got shot level 27, so all the orchard gear is on. So I can just run some solo stuff. The only other thing I would want to do is run uh, Shroud on my monk. Trying to complete his pair of boots, I've run Shroud two or three times now, and I've only seen three shards of power. And they are all just shards of power. No graders, no supremes, just regular shards of power. So I had the first level done. I need a greater shard, and I need one or two Supremes to finish my boots. It's really annoying. Because I want to switch my Jids Tekas over. But I need the displacement effect, or the uh, blur effect at least, to do that. Yeah, I like the XP you get for bravery bonuses, that's why I like to keep it going if I can get in those groups, but then it comes back to soloing on my first life characters and pfft, it doesn't work. I try to solo on Elite and I can make it partway through the quest. Then it all goes downhill. Run into a champion that... Uh, can't take down fast enough, and that's all it is to it. And I have no idea where I'm going. Or actually, I know where I'm going. I don't know why I'm taking this roundabout right route getting there. So, oh, just for fun. I don't know that I've sold this on E. Let's just try it. You know, the best way to do anything in Heroic is to get on a TR train and let them carry you. That's the best way to get through that stuff. It really is. Yep. That's how it happens. Just all of a sudden, oh, by the way, no, you aren't doing this. How about I turn on power attack and do my mask and get that on and this on? I mean, even. Yeah, I have a TR either, so. Main effect is pressing people to appeal to suppress epics, and they're still trying to get hurt past lives. Um, okay. I don't get that. I'd like to TR and see what it's all about, but I really. I mean, all my hero characters are stuck where they're at. There was a XP bonus this past weekend, wasn't it? And I couldn't find a group. Tried to solo some, failed, and just said, nah, you know what? I'll go do something else. I do my average characters or grind some cove stuff or something else, but I just don't have fun playing heroics. Unless I'm in a group. See, epics I have fun because I can solo the stuff. So it's fun. Heroics are just... I don't understand. Let me get back to your comment here. I just got some packages delivered. Hold on a minute. I'll be right back.
Uh, sorry about that. Be with the weather being somewhat unpredictable, I wanted to get those in before they got rained on. All right, so suppressing your bravery bonus. I don't get the suppressing epics of trying to get heroic past lives. I don't understand that. I don't understand why you'd want to suppress it at all. Oh, comms are so easy to farm once you get to cap, in my opinion. Yeah, heart seeds just kind of stack up. I got 134 at the moment. Getting kind of low. I guess I don't understand why anybody would want to suppress their bravery bonus at all, ever. These things being two dimensional when they turn. The illusionary ones have disappeared as well as the barrier into the next chamber. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Make sure I got my buffs on. Yeah, stun skin again just to make sure. I'm running through my arcane life, so it's just a. Uh... Oh, okay. Now I understand. So that you can, okay. So that when you TR, your bravery bonus doesn't get reset. It just starts where you were. I didn't realize that happened. I thought it reset. Oh, he got me. All right. Just to maintain it, yeah. Okay, I can see it that way then. I wasn't thinking of it like that. Once I hit Epic, it's just, I don't care about Bravery Bonus anymore. It doesn't really matter. There's so much XP to get, and uh, EE is just ridiculous, at least for me for soloing, but I don't worry about it. And I still don't, I, I understand why people want to do it, but I don't really see the need for it. There's so many other things that I would rather them focus on than that, personally. But I understand it a little bit better now, so... Yeah, people are complaining about even that not being enough. They need him pr practically staying next to every quest, basically. So you can talk it on or off every quest. There's going to be people that are crying because, oh, I forgot to toggle and toggle. And I didn't get my bonus, or I got my bonus, but I didn't want to, or whatever. Yeah. I'd say just skip it and not worry about it. 
Let's see what the elephants are. Nothing. All right. Cool. I mean, just the normal spies in the house, you get, what, 100k your first run every day? So, yeah. One thing I don't like about this gear set, which is one of the next topics anyway. will go over that in a minute. So, no one really has any problem about the 10% uh, XP penalty for a death only applies to you, not your party. The way it was was supposed to encourage grouping, but it didn't. I think if I think the elite bravery bonus is uh, kind of a turn off for new players. I much prefer the daily playthrough bonus kind of stuff or first time bonuses, where you don't have to worry about stacking stuff. It just makes a lot more sense. But when it's there, you know, I use it. At least in heroics, when I can. So this is Spies in the House, a very intimidating quest the first time you run it. Yeah, the problem with uh, that whole thing is skunk. I mean, multi-boxers. So you're still not getting what you're trying to get because you have one person just having five other accounts piking. So I don't know if there's a... Oh, one size fits all solution. What? Why did I go down that way? I've got Feather Fawn. Sometimes that jet just doesn't blow you in the right direction, which is weird. There we go. That'll significantly slow my time down. Hmm. What's wrong with multiple accounts? Nothing against having multiple accounts. I run the SOs account sometimes and pike stuff with that account while the group runs or I run something else. Especially if they're paid accounts. Nothing wrong with that. It's just that... Right. You can't bot. You can control the accounts. With humans, it's the botting that's prohibited. No. Just logged in at the same time. Sometimes from the same computer, even. Depending on how the person has it set up. But yeah. Um, so I think that's a concern with doing the number of players in the group thing. It's, do you have a bunch of nothing accounts that are just going to sit there and uh, 
pike. So, you know, I don't see that as necessarily a bad thing because I don't think a lot of people are going to do that. Right, exactly. That's kind of what I was, where I was going down with peace, is that you know you're gonna have people that do that, but they're gonna pay, or they're gonna grind the turbine points or whatever they're gonna do to get stuff for those accounts. So I don't see that as being horrible. I don't really think a lot of people are a lot of a lot of people are going to do that because to be, I've done that and it's kind of a pain to have to manage the other accounts other characters and all that even just with one other it gets a little annoying so i don't see that as a big deal but that is one of the things to think about when we're talking about getting that party bonus to xp i don't know I think no matter what changes, there's going to be people who are going to get butthurt about it. I'm just real tired of that. People are a little too uh, selfish focused. And don't understand that not everybody plays the game exactly the same way they do. Not everything wants the exact same things in the game that they do. There are hundreds of players per server that do things differently. Yeah, that, that's true too. But I don't think it's just the change. I think it's anything that doesn't fit with their optimal way of play. I mean, look... Well, I'll show the thread in a minute. I'll put the link up, but the new loot thread is a perfect example of that, where I'm just... I get... It burns my butter. Let's just say that. Let's see the... Nope, that one. It's this one. So, yeah. If you want your blood pressure to rise, go ahead and read some of the comments to that. Exactly. Everybody enjoys the game in their own way, and that may be completely different from somebody else. There's another thread that I'm not going to link to that was a event feedback that was just ridiculous, too. So, yeah, let's just focus on the U27 for now. We'll get to other stuff. So the loot preview there... I didn't see anything particularly like I must have this and I am going to grind for it, but there was a couple things like, yeah, you know, if it's fairly easy to get like the orchard stuff, then I might pick one of those up for a, this or that character. Had to figure out how it fits into my gear plan, but not a big deal. And other people are saying there's nothing in here, everything sucks, I don't want any of it. Great. Hey, Double King Size, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. That uh, sucks. I haven't seen that particular issue personally, but then again, I'm just a normal player as well, so I don't have any insight into anything. I haven't heard of too many people having problems dealing with the Warlock update. There's the usual lag complaints from the Cove have, having been run past couple weeks, but... I do occasionally get loading screens that take an abnormally long time or get stuck, but it's very rare for me. I know other people have them quite often. Hey, Archives, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Come here, you stupid elemental. 
Get over here. See, this other one pays more attention. There we go. Perfect. That's what you're supposed to do. Yep, it is. It wasn't. Hey, Dr. Boombox, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Yeah, I know people hate the cove. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I made sure to limit my time in Cove this time, and I did not get burned out. So. Yeah, I've heard several people um, debate the pros and cons of Cleave versus Whirlwind. Taking enough damage. There you go. I don't understand the hate for it. I really do enjoy it in limited quantities. Although, reading people's um, full group experiences made me kind of jealous because I mostly soloed it. And my green dragon shard rate was horrific compared to theirs. People were talking about getting 700 plus per run, and I was getting maybe 130 on a good run. So I didn't get much out of it. But ran a couple guild runs, which was fun. Um, got some people more used to it. I ran the torches, had one person stay at base, and then other people did the clear, clearing and scouting. But, you know. As you can tell from my gear set here, I uh, have done Cove a couple times. Got a skull cap, a bandana, a kerchief, a tried corn, a chapeau. I've got, let's see, my spyglass, my flask of rum. I've got a trink bowl trinket, ring of the buccaneer. So yeah. I never did Maybar. I kind of want Maybar to come back just so I can do it. <laughs> That's fun, skunk. I'm glad I didn't do the whole run cove till I'm sick of it, run it some more till I'm sick of it, run it some more, and then that last evening stay up four or five hours past my bedtime trying to make sure I got everything on the right characters and everything before it goes away. Because I did not do that this time and it was glorious not having to do that. I really like my uh, spyglass. I made this spyglass last time Cove was not this time. Time before that. And, uh, yeah. The Master's Gift slotted in it, so I don't have to swap back and forth. Hit my true seeing, and the spot 
which help, and then UMD, which helps a lot. So because I'm doing the um, Epic Reincarnation grind, this is just a perfect item for that as a melee and all that. So. Yep, and then I've got, you know, a hat for haggling. Charisma plus sick hat, haggle plus 15. So I throw that on if I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. Uh, wisdom and heal. If I'm doing healing, I need that. Intimidate intelligence. Jump and strength. I used that back when this is my lowly level 12 primary character. And I was trying to do stuff that required jumping. I didn't have enough jump, so I used that. And then heavy fortification and balance because that was my uh, fighting hat for a long time. I wanted the heavy fort and then I wanted the balance so I get back up fit faster. And it helped a lot in the cove. I was running out in this character. So yeah, it's just some good stuff. I enjoy the gear I got there. I did want to finish off my flask of rum, but I didn't. I ran out of dragon shards, but I, I am at the cure critical and restoration at what six minutes or so. So I'm one, only one or two levels from max on that, and that's close enough, really. Yeah, I wanted to make another spyglass for with all the goodies. Like Master's Gift and all that for other characters that are epic, but I just get ran out of those stupid shards. I had plenty of other stuff, but the uh, Green Dragon shards were just the thing. I spent a lot of time just grogging and in the cove, just uh, getting the uh, stolen gems and doubloons. So I have plenty of all that stuff. Oh, let me just go ahead and do this while we're here. I don't see any other. things I want to do. Oops. Just off. I have a fully upgraded Fask on my Monk and I use it quite often. I would say two or three times um, a week in the static group that I, that character is in. I use it. It's great as a backup. Oh crap, heal source. Um, normally, of course, I use the light finisher to heal and all that, but sometimes you just get too much damage at, at once, and uh, that backup is really nice to have. It's also good because of the restoration, which is handy. We have a favored soul and a arty, but no real healer in that group, so... Sometimes you just need that a little bit of extra, and that does well for it. It's kept me alive on many occasions. The top level's five minutes. I think the one on this character right now is six. Yeah, that's the only f Eternal Flask I have, so it gets used a lot. That's also why I want to make the boots for that character. The green steel boots with the displacement clicky and the hit points so that I can actually have a displacement clicky. Let's check that real quick. Yeah, it's a six minute cooldown at the moment at this level. Yeah, all flasks have a shared cooldown. Is it all flasks, or is it all non-artificial flasks? I don't remember. I've only had the cove flask, so I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a lot less useful if you have a, another flask that you're using.
So one of the things getting a lot of hate is the Featherfall click key on that uh, E27 item. Which evidently was a player request. That it be a click key and not permanent. And you get a lot of people from the one side saying, oh thank you, finally a high level item where it's not permanent, and a lot of people saying, what's the point in not having it permanent? So, I am of the opinion that I like it permanent, except when I don't, and then it's just easy enough to take it off, usually. Put it back on, so it's not a big deal. But evidently, other people would rather just have it as a click key so they never have to take it off. And depending what the stats are, I can understand that. Since the Epic Ethereal Bracers are decks, it's not a big deal. Take it off and put it back on. Yep, that's the way I, I feel. There's just a cert couple certain places where you don't want Feather Fall, and the rest of the time it's why not have it? It slightly slows you down if you're doing speedruns, I understand that. There's some especially in quests that have a lot of drops that you want to get down through quickly so you can get on to the next part, but eh. Hey Dewey Butternick, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And yeah, if you have wings and stuff, there's other ways to speed yourself up. I still need on some character somewhere to get some Kanith boots of propulsion. Just don't really see LFMs for those quests very often. Hey Gemini, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening, good to see ya. Hey Gemini, did you know that uh, swashbucklers get uh, dex to hit? Or I mean uh, charisma to hit? I read it on the internet, it must be true. Talking in chat here, I might have a viable character on Kanith soon. <laughs> yeah. I was lurking during that conversation. I was cracking up. That was pretty funny. Was really funny. Just, it must be true because I said so. So here's the other thing about the new gear is if there's going to be LFMs for it that I can just drop in, go in and get some gear easily, kind of like Orchard, that's cool talk about raids and other stuff, I might as well just not worry about it. Exactly, Wisen Man. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's some gear that might fill slots for some different roles, but there's no reason to get all hateful about a Featherfall clicky. I mean, really. I mean, it's a feather paw clicky. It was a specific design choice that was requested by players. 
you know what? Deal with it. If it's not the one you want, then don't get that, that gear. It's that simple. There's plenty of gear that I don't go after because it doesn't fit any of my builds. I'm not butthurt about it. <laughs> Just uh, not going for it. It's really easy. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see how Zerg Show gets set up and going, and then we'll figure out how we're going to do that. Yeah, I mean, I posted just a minute ago. There you go. Evidently, that was on what was on Lamania. Oh, well, I probably should put the Lamania thing up too. So Lamania is down, as the minions found out yesterday. Because it went down. Hey Alfred, how's it going? Nice to see you in. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well this evening. So, as I understand it, the people that are against the Featherfall Clicky are saying, why are you putting a level 1 effect on a level 28 item, first of all? And then... Second of all, it's why would you not just do permanent featherfall? Because that's what other items of the same level range and stuff have. You you always want featherfall on because why not? That's what the people that are on that side of it are saying. Whereas the other people are saying, I don't want featherfall on all the time. I want it as a clicky because I don't want it on all the time. I want to do speed runs. I only want to just get past this one jump or two. That's all I need. Um, I don't like the feather effect when it's on, whatever. You know, there's I there's legitimate reasons that why they don't want it on all the time. The counter argument to that, of course, is that you just put, put it on and off. It's not a big deal. It's just a quick item swap. But Yeah, so there's both sides, but the, the amount of hate in that thread on both sides is just absurd. It's way over the top. It's just Featherfall Clicky. It was a specific design choice. There's a player request. Deal with it. Yeah, I'm fine, except for, like I said, there's one or two places where I don't want Featherfall on all the time. Unless I'm really going for a speedrun record kind of thing then meh. it's fine for it to be on. I don't mind. I actually like when I get to 27 and can quit my ethereal bracers and I don't have to worry about swapping anymore. It's good. I like it. But yeah, the hate is just way too strong. That, and it's not only just the hate, I think, that bothers me, it's the entitlement. It's, it, it, the whole thread is littered with people saying, these items don't exactly match my gear set needs for my build at this level or whatever. Yeah, and? <laughs> There's lots of gear that isn't build, build my, uh, isn't good for my build. Well, what's your point? You know, I just don't get that entitlement that everything has to cater to me. No, it really doesn't. It's a multiplayer game. Yep. I mean, look. Watch, everybody. I'm switching Featherfall off and then back on. <gasps> Let's try that again. Off, back on. Wow, that was difficult. You know? Just as easy as clicking it and letting it wear off in a minute. Again. It's just about the same thing. Not a big deal. So. Yeah, I don't get the hate. It really doesn't matter either way to me. <laughs> exactly, Rikis. It's ooh, so important. But, you know, people are passionate about things that they want to see, the way, the way they want to play and all that. And I get that to some degree. Just uh, when it gets to the point of that hate thrown, being thrown about in the thread, that just gets, bothers me. It's a little over the top. It's a lot over the top. 
and it bothers me. So yeah. And you know that I have forgotten to click sometimes and generally speaking, either it's short enough where it doesn't matter or it's long enough that you have time to go, oh yeah, I'm falling too fast. I need to click that. And most of the time, because all you have to do is hit it on, actually you can hit it as you hit the ground. The timing is such that if you hit it as you hit the ground, you will bounce back up into the air and you will float down those last few feet. So. Either way, I'm fine. Players cancel, I have no opinion about the players cancel. I think the theory is good. I have no idea what the practice is. Um, I was going to apply and then decided not to because I felt like streaming here on this channel and having all these videos and stuff is enough of a platform for my opinions that I didn't need to be in the Players Council as well. Hey Killer Lecter, how's it going? Welcome, thanks for joining. Hope you're doing well this evening. <laughs> nice. You know, I like that stuff too. I like the stunt jumping and all that stuff. It's fun. And that's another thing I want, I don't understand to some degree. I mean, I understand it to a little bit because I was the same way in on some things. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's in the game for flavor. Now, Wise Man, I can get behind that. Something with unique effect and it changes your build entirely. Now, that's that's cool to have and that's desirable to have in. Say every quest has at least one chase item. That'd be cool. Every new quest pack, I mean. <laughs> yeah, Gemini, it works exactly like that. You know, Wise Man, I, I think that would be the goal. Personally, if I was on the d design team and I had that choice, I could make those kind of choices, which is say, okay, what is the chase item this time? What is the one item everybody is going to want come hell or high water? Heck or high water. Um, you know, that would be a good design goal to have. To have at least that one item that fits into one class or something totally new, has some new effect that hasn't been seen before, something like that, yeah. That would be ideal. But I also see that I would like to see in every quest pack some items that just fill in holes in various character or build gear sets. So, you know, oh, well, you know, I have this here, but I can't fit this in anywhere. Well, I'll put it in the slot that makes sense for the character that's a build like that and that they could slot it in that way or something. You know, that would be also useful and fun to see in everything. I saw, I don't know, one or two things that was like, you know, if I got one of those, I wouldn't be upset about it. I could see using it on this or that character, that's cool. But there was nothing that was like, oh my god, that would be perfect for this, or that would mesh really well with this build, or something like that. Yeah, I didn't see any of those either. And I really think, yeah, that every new pack should have at least one of those. We'll see. I will say that from what I've seen, I mean, I know the Players Council gets some preview and they get some input, but as much as the Turbine staff are doing a much better job of keeping us in the loop and previewing stuff for us, we have to realize that it is just a preview and it is just informational. It is not necessarily 
they're not saying here design this for us they're saying hey what do you think about this this is the way we already have it we might tweak it a little bit before it goes live probably not and i think that's needs to be an understanding i think people in the community are thinking that they're saying they're asking for approval and that's not what they're doing they're saying hey look here's some Here's some of the ideas we came up with. Here's some things that are out there, and uh, yeah, that would also be cool. Odd combinations that maybe don't work that great today. It's like, if you think about it, it's like Magic: The Gathering cards. You know, there's some of these older cards that just didn't do anything, or these really weird cards that. Really? Why did they even make that? And then a new set comes out, and oh my god, the combination you can make if you plug plug that with this other card or this other or these other two cards. That's the kind of things that be they should be going for. Ham clicky, yes, that would be fun. A ham barrel explosion clicky would be awesome. I've never had manstone boots on any of my characters. I really would like abundant step like thing here. Mohawk. You know, that would be a good idea to have some cosmetic clickies, too. Because I'm one of those people who don't see the point in cosmetics. So... So just so we see what we're talking about in here. We've got Arcane Casting Dexterity, Open Lock, Diversion, Seeker, and Demonic Might. So that would be a... Rogue... Wizard... Who is a... Strength based sneak attack specialist? I don't know. Yeah, but I'll tell you, I'm sort of lazy when it comes to gear. I like having stuff equipped all the time and not having to switch a lot. So if I was running a lot of quests, particularly with open lock, I just want to leave it equipped. So I would like to have something in that slot that does something else and not just do like crafted open lock. More ice cream. Heck yeah. I mean, that's the whole reason I have my spyglass 
code spyglass set up the way it is. It was just a nice combination to put on the same item to have the XP boost and the true seeing and the spot plus the UMD just all sitting there on the same item and just okay yeah why not makes sense to keep that always equipped then oh I killed him one shot awesome So I gotta figure that there's a XP uh, range where the ogre mages go and viz and all that. And if you get a critical just before that you hit that range, then you skip it and you can actually kill in one shot. Not sure that's the way it works, but it's the way it seems to work. And I'm okay with that. Oh, all kinds of stuff up now. And nothing that I want to do. Yet again. I have not been through Haunted Halls enough to really know it, so I don't really enjoy it. <laughs> it tends to happen to me a lot. If I haven't been through stuff a couple times, I don't really tend to enjoy until I get a better feeling for how it goes. Especially in the ridiculously huge, long, complicated stuff. Let's see. No, I don't really care to do that on there. Let's do some repairing and selling of junk. I'll make sure I bag my comms. Almost have to do something about comms again. Almost ten thousand again. I've done haunted halls, I think, twice. And one time was just a zerg run through it that I was carried. No, I've done it maybe three times. And then one was people, nobody knew what it was going on, and it was just a train wreck. That's an odd great axe. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Junk, 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 greater, greater. And haggle hat for an extra 4K. But yeah, I haven't really done it very often, so. Alright, let's go back to House P. I did the standard version, was carried, and then I got in an EE group to unlock Harper Agent Tree before I was VIP. And that was horrible. Way too difficult. For my character at the time. And yeah, it was basically soloed by one guy. Who knew it really well. Let's just do quick party crashers see if we can get the antique great axe piece to drop from snitch and then we'll go probably over to evening star to do druids and then we'll see where we're at from there ooh lion exterminator surprise xp gotta love it lots of ee going on tonight 
is as if he were teleported and leaves away. I would also like to do the uh, Temple of Elemental Evil now that people have had a chance to optimize it and all that. I've run it a couple times, like first timey things. I ran it on stream when it first came out and died horribly a couple times on Zugmoy. Yeah. See, did I have any more links to share? Um, oh yeah, they have the plus six tomes are now permanent in the store, which I didn't get the point of them coming in and out of the store anyway. They're really expensive ones; you just have them around all the time. Not that I'm going to buy them, unless maybe if there was a 75% off sale, like there was in the plus fours or the plus sixes, I would consider it at least. As it is, I've worked to get the tomes I have on here. Spent a lot of time and money getting them to where they are. Used cards for some of them. Did some grinding for others. Just auction house the others. So I'm just popped in, you know. I liked what I've seen of Temple Elemental Evil. I started bringing it, I don't know, three or four times. So I started getting a little bit okay with it and then just haven't run it since. So I haven't seen very many LFMs for it. Ice cream! Yummy yum ice cream! So, if you weren't around to see it, I tried it when it first came out on stream live, first time. Had no idea what it was, what I was doing. So, with this character, I went in there on Heroic Elite. I was doing fine until there was a cluster of traps, I think. No, I got past those. And then I hit Zuckmoy. And then I died three times, I think? I don't remember. I had to buy cakes. Heroic Elite, an epic level character. I was twice the quest level. And I was having to buy cakes. I died. That's how ridiculous the end of the second part of Temple of Elemental Evil is, or was. Yes, I, I came the correct way for, from the Ballista, so I did not get killed by the Ballista that time, although later on in future runs I did. Um, I really just had a problem with a cluster of traps, and then the end. It was kind of ridiculous. And there was some patch note about, oh, um, there was something about Zugget Moy being epic elite in hero elite or something like that. I saw, I was like, oh, okay, maybe that was part of it. The Fialin chapter house must have been closed as a precaution during the Grand Gown. The ballroom is on the far side of the chapter house, and it seems rather next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it as you did What life am I on? Twelve. The chapter house theater normally hosts Yeah, this one and one more and I'll have every completionist. It looks like it shows are on hold during the grand gallery. I'll figure out what to do next with this character at that point. A little bit of lag there. <laughs> and 
And a bunch of guys from Benny Hill. Skunk. I think that's the only thing you're missing that I can think of. <laughs> yeah, well, that can be a valid tactic. Kill them all. You were supposed to be, eh, you know. Collateral damage is fun sometimes. That whole explosive things yesterday was great. Really reminded me of my friends and I used to do LAN parties. We did one of the Rainbow Six games. Oh, come here, come here. Okay, let's gather up and figure out the plan. Okay, what we're going to do is drop this grenade. Everybody dies. Oops, that didn't work. Let's try that again. And somebody else does it. And then somebody else does it. And the first person does it again. And then two people do it. And then after a while, you stop being punched and you settle down. All right, okay. Now we can run the next thing. I remember it was the... Whatever the big ship was, was the map. Run some sort of ocean-going vessel. And clear the terrorists out of... <laughs> Very dangerous indeed. You go first. Why is there a hole in my gear? Something's missing. I just noticed that's bothering me now. Yep, I'm sure nothing nothing else I can do. Except kill a couple guys and their minions, but eh. Save it for the end. Do it all at once. More efficient that way. While we're waiting for Contessa Cyan to walk, I would like to I'm gonna go ahead and find that thread real quick. Oh, yeah, I was going to post that, too. Um, yeah, th this one. In case you didn't see it when it happened yesterday during the stream for Minion Monday. I think this is the right one. Yeah. All right, let me first off preface this link I'm about to post with I don't agree with the survey the way it's written writing surveys is hard if you want good information from them it is very hard you need to keep your bias out of the questions and answers if you don't then your survey is pretty useless obviously this survey has a lot of bias so keep that in mind when you look at it. However, yeah, they were, what, most of the way through Haunted Halls of Evening Star Extended yesterday when uh, they got the 30 second notice live on stream. That was pretty bad. I don't agree with giving people only 30 seconds to log off, ever. I don't care if it's a test server. I don't agree with that. I think it's rude to kick everybody off with such short notice, unless there's a compelling reason like, you know, oh, this hard drive's about to fail, we need to shut it down now so we can see, save what we can. I mean, that's a compelling reason. But just, you know, we're going to take it down now. Nah. 
not the best thing. Personally, in my opinion, I think there should be a longer warning. And a post needs to be, you know, an hour before it happens, not five minutes. Give people time to see it. But that's me. Hey, bad for you. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you today. All right, on to the snitch. But that said, I thought some of the responses are interesting. If you can comb through the hate in that thread about the uh, seasonal events, because again, not everything has to be for your character's gain. Some of it can just be fun and different and just something amusing to happen. Like the Jenna brothers, for example. You know what? I don't mind it. It's something different, interesting in the area for a little bit. I'm all cool with that. Where am I going? I thought I was going to snitch and then I turned around. So I think that's the first thing that's the bias against in that survey. And then the whole thing about Maybar's just not neutrally worded at all. We'll say that. But some people have some good ideas in there amongst the other junk. There are some good ideas in there. Some interesting insights into how different people approach different events. I like the events. I like that they're temporarily, I like the seasonal. Uh, except for Mimic event, I would rather have the Mimic event be on all the time. As in, you have a chance to see Mimics any chest you open. I would love that. I don't like the card system used in the Anniversary Cards and Mimic event. I really don't like that system. And the reason I don't like that system is because, at least with birthday cakes, everybody has a chance at the same, everybody can get the same stuff if that's what they want. Whereas with the cards, somebody is going to get a 9 or 10, and then somebody is not. And nobody's going to trade a non 9 or 10 for a 9 or 10. Yep, down with is exactly what I said yesterday. Just goes to show what Cordovan does well in his position is coordinate those sorts of things. He could have said, hey, you know, we're planning this. Maybe you don't want to run a Lamania. Or, hey, they're running on Lamani right now on live stream. Can we wait an hour? Something like that. Now, I will say this for the cards. I like the artwork. I like that it was a source of different artwork. That was cool. That part of it I liked. The rest of the card system I did not like at all. I didn't like having to deal with trading. I didn't like having to have a different bag. I didn't like any of that stuff about it. But I really, really didn't like the rarity thing. Because then you get some people like, I never saw a card 10 at all. In the anniversary cards, I never saw, or mimic cards, I don't think I ever saw a 10. At all. And that's just not right. Have some set way to do it, or equalize the rarities, or something. But the way it was done just is not fun to me. Oh, look at the 9 and 10, all this cool stuff I got. Well, yeah, I never saw any of that. I was never able to get in, but it, and no one was going to trade me a card 1 for a card 10, so I was SOL. You know, that's just not fun. That, that aspect of it is not fun. Now, if you look at the fact that all of it was bonus, then yeah, you know, okay, that's fine to some degree. That, you know, any of it was bonus, and okay, I didn't get the better bonus as somebody else did. Okay, I can kind of see that. But it just created more have-nots that, you know, I didn't really care for that part of it. Just a minute, dog. Let me get you. You can get down? You okay? Okay. 
Do we need to walk shortly? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay, after this quest, we'll take a walk. Okay, yes, I see you. Yeah, we can go out in just a minute. Okay, give me a couple more minutes. I'm almost there. Almost done with this quest. Yeah, buddy. Don't get me killed here. So yeah, that's something you got to be careful with, with those kind of systems that, I mean, the difference between that and like the daily rolls is that eventually everybody's going to get, statistically, eventually everybody's going to get 100. Right, skunk, that's the other big thing. The duping was a big problem, and the fact that things like raid bypass timers were in there, which was just, I guess... To a certain degree, that makes sense in a marketing sense, because, oh, hey, I got this thing that I would never buy, but now that I have one and I've seen how useful it is, maybe I'll go buy more. I understand it from that aspect, but... Yeah. Because some of that stuff was just not the way I would have liked it. Congrats, city. It's fun to get that 100 and get the big jackpot. You know, like some of my guild, one of my guildies, I think, got two plus six or seven, or seven tomes in daily rolls, or just sixes, I don't remember. He got like two plus six daily tomes in his um, VIP gold rolls. So, you know, that's cool for him. It's neat that it happened. I've gotten a hundred, I haven't got a tome, but I've got, you know, greater cakes or some other, you know, big items. That's cool. I'm bad about using consumables, so I don't usually do that stuff. Yeah, I had those cards and had them and had them. I was trying to trade on other servers, and I finally ended up giving a lot of them away on stream on the other servers. After giving most of my primary characters and the SO's primary two characters that they play some uh, stat boosts f through tomes. I still think I have some tomes left in the bank somewhere. But I like the Mimic event. The farming, the vault was fun. Otherwise, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much because I never played Maybar. So... <laughs> exactly. City, I do that all the time. I forget my XP boosts and Slayer Camp boosts and all that. I don't keep them on me. I keep them in bank and then I just forget to use them because I don't normally do that stuff. So It's a little weird. But yeah, um, so I was happy to be able to farm the vault and get those things that I was never able to get because I wasn't playing during the time that event was running. And now a lot of my characters have that gear, so yeah. But as far as the Mimic event itself, I would just I just want Mimics all the time. I don't want it to be an event, or maybe it's a, it's on all the time as far as members are concerned, and the event is you actually get to turn them in, or there's the frenzies or something. Is different about it. That's not a bad pair of gloves for level 19. I wonder if I have a character. Yeah, the remnant drop's nice, too. I, I enjoy that as a, just a bonus thing to have been while you're questing within certain parameters, but yeah, it's nice. Anything that, that's another thing, the, the way the survey is, that question the survey worded, anything that's an event is going to disrupt normal questing and rating, period. Because you aren't going to have people that want, they, you're going to have people that want to do that festival stuff and not want to rate or quest. So anything that's on all the time or part of the time that's not changing your habits at all, is neat. It's exciting. I, and I think the Mimic thing would be just perfect to have on all the time. Then add the Frenzies and the turn-ins rarely, but as an event. But the whole thing, Mimics being spawned randomly is 
Oh, awesome. I need a Mimic Bait hat or something. There's no way I'm buying Mimic Bait in the store. Oh, ooh. Save that. Yes. If I kept track, better track of what I actually needed to save for crafting and various characters, be in better shape. No haggle hat. All right, everyone. I am going to take a short break. It's right about seven o'clock. Give me oh, say ten minutes, so seven ten ish. I will be back after walking the dog and taking a stretch break and all that. So feel free to take your own break, and I'll see you back in about ten minutes.
And I'm back. That sucks, Gemini. Let's see if I missed anything else while I was gone. Uh, down with peace left. All right. Thankfully, that doesn't happen too often to, to you, does it? The whole weather power thing. You seem to be pretty consistent. Oh, sins of attrition. Hey, Queen, just got back myself. I turn my brakes on if I did. Myself perm up for a minute. I don't know. Ice cream's pretty healthy. Oh, there's Tower of Despair going. How about that? Pike a completion if you want. Hilarious. I think that's the only character I have flagged for that, and I've already done it. I don't know if I've done it on Elite, though. Did we do it on Elite when we did it? I don't remember. That's good, Gemini. Alright, what are we doing here? Um, I've run that over... Oh, I'm going over to... Oh, I didn't have my thing on. Can I get off that? That doesn't mean get up on top of it, you stupid cat. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Supercell would uh, indicate some uh, fun weather coming your way. Yeah. I don't like garlic. Don't like garlic, don't like tomatoes, don't like cheese. That cuts out a lot of food. Don't like garlic. Really don't like it. Uh, yeah, I'm heading towards... Uh, one of the O's. I don't care which. I guess I'll go this way first. Dog, please don't drop your bone anymore. It's really loud. Now, Kurg, I can get behind. So, over the weekend, we're, we put Dog in daycare and like, okay, let's go out and have something we haven't had in a while. So we tried a new Chinese buffet place that's, well, new to us, not new to the area, new to us. Ended up being pretty good. Um, one of the interesting things they did is their wonton soup. They had the soup, and then they had the wonton separately. So you could put however many wontons you wanted in your soup, which is interesting. And then um, they had some of the egg custard buns, which I love. And they had some of the, whatever the purple ones are, I don't remember what they're called, what's in those, but the other buns that are purplish. Those were good. And, um, some of the stuff that was decent. They had a decent selection of ice cream. Which is odd. Usually those kind of places don't, but we were at, initially planned on going to the Indian buffet. Which we haven't had... We haven't had Chinese buffet in a while. We've had Chinese because there's a really good takeout place. Not as good as Ming's, but still pretty good. And uh, so now I'm craving Indian. It was my point to all that. Kirk, 
Craven my Indian food. I haven't had Thai for a while either. Ah, <sighs> Mings. So if yeah, if anybody is ever in the Milwaukee area, find Mings. Go have yourself some egg rolls and one ton soup. That's all you need. That's a meal, almost two meals for some people if you don't eat much. The egg rolls are huge. The soup has so much yummy stuff in it. It's just amazing. <laughs> Yeah, if they just ship me some egg rolls, that'd be perfect. Yep. So yeah, get yourself to Brookfield and get to Ming's and have some of the most amazing egg rolls and wonton soup. Their other stuff's good too, but their egg rolls are just so amazing and the soup is so amazing that even their own food pales in comparison. <laughs> no sleep till Brookfield, exactly. We've been talking about a road trip back up that way. Oh, it would really be better to fly in because all we want to do is eat Mings and that's about it. We don't really have anything else we want to do there. I think it's still mingstakeout.com. Another Forster's brush? Look. I haven't seen one of those in a while, and all of a sudden two, and a wall of wood as well. Wow. I never went to Summerfest when I was there. Uh, I guess I would like to go back to um, the safe house. That was a fun place to go. And I guess check out how the hobby shops have changed since I was there and in them every day. Some other stuff we could do, but nothing really compelling. The compelling thing's the food. I went there twice, I think, to the safe house. Really fun place. <laughs> What's with all the cats in the new boxes? Huh? At least you're not getting on top of it like he was. Yeah, I don't really care for the crowds much, which is why I really liked Safe House better when it was for lunch rather than on a weekend night when it was a bar. I will say the same thing that Gemini says. If you have a choice between watching me and playing, go ahead and play. I often have somebody up on my other computer while I'm playing. Whether I'm watching DDO or something else, I often do that. Drives the SO crazy sometimes. I'll have the PS4 on, doing something there. I'll have this computer on, playing DDO or something. And I'll have watching somebody play something on the other computer. They're like, okay, pick one. No, I'm, I'm doing all different things here. I can do multiple things at once.
And then hopefully, somewhat soonish, we'll get Zerg to show up and going, and you'll have another show to watch on this channel. I also stream on my own channel, which I put a promo up earlier, showing my various places to contact, YouTube and my site, and Twitter and Twitch and stuff. Always appreciate follows and all of that. I do plan to re-record my DDO streaming tutorials. Evidently the sounds somehow got really screwed up. I'm not sure how that happened, but it needs to be fixed, so I'll probably re-record from scratch. So those were kind of one-take things. I'm playing some uh, Borderlands pre-sequel, which is an amusing game, having fun with it. Except when it screws up like it did the other night. That was ridiculous. It stuck in an area and then immediately after that went to run something and the game just froze. It was really annoying. All I want to do is play this game, what the heck? What about other new games? Um, Guild of Dungeoneering just came out on Steam. A very interesting looking game. I haven't played it yet, but I watched some people play it. And uh, pretty neat. Card Hunter on Steam went is, or Card Hunter, which used to be a free to play browser game, is now on Steam. And it is not worth playing at the moment because there's a half hour wait queue to log in. So it's not really worth trying. I also don't think that game is that great uh, long term. Short term it's kind of neat to uh, play that way with the cards and stuff, but it you run into a wall pretty quickly and they want you... It's a free to play nag 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 game, so can't recommend it past that. I'm still playing Clicker Heroes and uh, Adventure Capitalist, which is a similar game. It's those number increasing games that are interesting. Nothing like learning about logarithmic scaling to ruin your day. Oh, that's really close. I only need, oh, 10 times more than what I have. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, that's 100 times more. Oh, it's going to be a while. But there's still fun things to do between other games. And what else? I've been running games for cards, which is really annoying now that they have that two-hour minimum because of the refund. It's harder to get the cards out of the games now. It's no longer just an hour and done. Now it's three hours, four hours and done. It seems like they've been sensitive to having other games open at the same time, too. But yes, I have something around 2,000 games on Steam to choose from, so there's some variety there. Things I can play. I've also been playing Binding of Isaac on my Vita. Really frustrating game, but fun. Steam is awesome. It's the sales that are evil. And the bundles, all the different various bundles. Which, by the way, if you have any interest in game creation, go to humblebundle.com, get the game crea creation bundle, save yourself a lot of cash, and get some tools to create games with. I'd highly recommend that if you're interested in creating games. Because it's a lot of stuff for not very much money. Some good tools, too, as I understand it. Can't remember any other but the bundles off the top of my head um, that are active at the moment. I just checked. Well, I'm a member of a couple Steam groups that post the bundles every day, so it's a lot more convenient to just check the Steam news feed and say, "Oh yeah, okay." 
Really, I haven't found Steam eating up too many system resources if it's just idling in the background. I have other stuff that takes up way more resources, usually. I don't play DDO through Steam because I use an alternative launcher, so... And I close that pretty much immediately as soon as I open it, so I have it set to go through Steam if I want to, it's just not really worth it to go that way. I wanted it to track my... St um, what are you doing? That dire bear should not have run that far. Anyway, I want to track my um, hours played and all that, but I just don't run it through Steam. So. Doesn't work. Yeah, I have a batch file that's supposed to do the same thing as DDO preload. Plus I have an SSD, so... Doesn't really matter too much. I have pretty short loading times no matter what I do. Yeah, that's why I like DDOML. I just click and I'm signed in and going. There's no news page that comes up. No server selection sign-in box. It's just click and you're done. It's great if you only play on one server and, and or if you want to multi-box. It's very useful. It can be kind of a pain to set up the first time, but once you get it set up, it works well. I also like it because then if I need to log the SO's character on, it's really quick and easy to do so. Uh, I can get you a link in a minute. I think it's off my DDO page. If you have that from earlier. I'll stop after this spike pit. And... Uh, Get the link. Beep. Oh, I have to kill these guys first. There we go. Um, let me throw this up there to make sure. Hello, why are you not switching windows? There we go. Somebody's throwing something at me. Do I have it on there? Oh, I don't. Hmm. It must be on my. Um, Twitch page then that I have it. And it is there. He's casting at me now. Hmm. That's it. Oh he actually made it uh, past the spike pet. He doesn't usually do that. I am also on Twitter, Simargu. Let's see what I have here. Is Rain still on? I don't think Rain's still on. Let's go ahead and throw it on there. Uh, let's take this jerk out. He stops casting AoE stuff. If my cleaves would go off, that would be awesome. So that time, the node didn't break. It's weird. Sometimes... It breaks, I'm nowhere near it. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand what the difference is. Yeah, no problem. It's not for everyone, but I like it.
once you get it set up, it's in working. It's fun to be able to do fast. The only thing is switching servers is a pain. You have to go into the INI file and edit it by hand. But apart from that, using it's just click to open it and click to uh, hit your character or account or whatever it is. Yeah, Gemini, that would be kind of annoying. Cancel it to the weather and the weather doesn't cooperate. Seems like uh, it should be more polite than that. Not leave you hanging. Oh, hopefully after this I can find the group to get in with my assassin again. I sat in Meridia next to Shroud for two or three hours yesterday while I was doing other stuff. I was playing some Clicker Heroes, I was playing some Borderlands, I was I don't know, walking the dog and watching other streams and stuff. No bites. I did see My Python's Flying Servant Circus Guild uh, do a guild run of it though. Oh, there's somebody from there. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's three. Oh, there's six. Oh, there's nine. Oh, there's twelve. All right, they're going in. Cool. And no love. <laughs> yeah, I saw you launch DDO earlier. And then later on, we ended up. I ended up finding an LFM up and doing it uh, four person on hard. And again, no greater or uh, supreme shard drops. Please, just one greater and one or two supremes. I don't remember what I need. Get my hit points, smoke boots finished. That's all I want. My characters, get those smoke boots finished. Well, of course, I'd love to craft hand wraps, but I can't. Green steel crafting system. Oh, what am I doing? Covering. Guy gets the swims in. What was that, dog? What's your Thursday game this week, Gemini? I see you didn't do Besiege. You did... A curious story or something like that last week? I don't remember what you did last week. Oh, um, Mordor 3, that's right. I remember that now. That was an interesting game. I watched you play that a bit. What ring do I need? That's the ring I need. Okay. I was surprised that you finished it so fast. That's why I looked up the speedruns. I was like, wow, that was first play, never seen it before. Finished it in what, hour 20, something like that? I wonder what the speedrun is. Oh, six minutes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I've been booting a lot of games to get the cards. It's a never-ending cycle. Now it just takes so much longer. Buy bundle. Get games. Oh, games have cards. Play games to get cards. Oh, look, new bundle. More games. More cards. Probably need rain. I can't tell if the song's still on, but I'm not gonna need it.
Septera Core? Yeah, I remember Septera Core. That's cool. Some of the best voice acting in the game. I don't remember how much of Septera Court I played. But I remember playing it. I remember it existing. I remember playing it. What you want, dog? I already fed you and we already walked. I don't know what else you want. Go torment a cat or something. Valkyria Chronicles game. Uh, I don't know if I could stand playing it. There was too much plot and stuff. There wasn't enough just action combat. Too much plot and management. I've been tempted to buy on Steam two new releases lately, Ronin and uh, Guild Engineering are the two lately I've been tempted by, but I've got so many other games, I'm acquiring games at such a rate that I can't keep up with them anyway, this doesn't seem worth it, for games I'm probably not going to play for a while, I'll just wait till the sale on them, or bundle with them in it, get that. That's cool. That reminds me of playing Final Fantasy VII in Japanese. It took us a bit to figure out what we were doing. But it really helped us learn Japanese, I'll tell you that. It was a motivating factor to get through some of those classes and learn some stuff. Oh, that's what that meant. Okay, now I get it. He was telling us to go here and do this. Oh, okay. Makes a world of difference. Oh, that I want to join. I want to join that. Not on this character, though. Come here, Coley. The occasion I get a loading screen. I think it's more throughput than. Yeah, we were in college at the time, so. It was a real motivating factor to learn that stuff so we could play that game. We were so fascinated by that game. D. Hi. This is an XP train I want to get it on. It's the kind of thing I've been waiting for on this character. Yeah, I've lost so much since I haven't been... I mean, we used to watch anime all the time. We were in the anime club. And used to play things like Final Fantasy VII. And we imported so many games for the PlayStation. It was a good time. We really enjoyed 
all that stuff at the time. Whoa. Really? I can't believe people are actually waiting in spies in the house. People are waiting. I'm... I... I'm... Wow. That, like, never happens. So anyway, I used to be able to read Hiragana and Katakana, okay. New, maybe a couple hundred kanji, I'd say, ish. Had much better vocab than I do now, given that, you know, a lot of my stuff came from anime and uh, video games. No, none of the optionals were done. Nobody had... Yeah, it was weird. Nobody had started until after I got in. Somebody finally started, I think. Need to get... There we go. Is that all of them? Over there, at least. There was another box over here. Thought there was. Piking means when you step in the tet in yeah, step in the quest and don't do anything basically. Not pulling your weight. That kind of stuff. Camper. I have feather fall somewhere, don't I? Yes, I do. Yay. I can make it to the quest, I have feather fall. I have enough jump. Oh, I'll give you some attention in a bit, okay? I'm busy, buddy. Go play with the cats or your bone or something. Uh, what ring did I have on? Guess plus dex. Yay! Gain epic destiny level. Well, if you all do that, there's not much I can do to help you with the traps. I don't have FOM. Um... Alright, well, I'll stay over here for a bit. Make sure everything else got done. Yep. Do, 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 do. Waiting for my grease to wear off so I can actually do this. Dog, you need to stop dropping your bones under the coffee table. I'm not going to interrupt my stuff to get it for you. You need to stop doing that. There's nothing else down here. There's one over here somewhere, though. Yay! 
<laughs> buy all the things. It's really worth it because I was considering buying one of those things when it was on the Steam sale, and it was by itself it was not that cheap. So getting it and all the other things is a pretty good deal. Cat, you're blocking my fan, dude. Thank you. Everybody else is done? I'll get the secret brother. We got the ingenious debilitation bonus thanks to me. And there was much rejoicing because everybody likes plus 30% XP. Whoa, I didn't quite expect that to work that way. I was hoping to get the uh, jump there. Oh well. They got the breakables there. Good. Cat, get down. Oh, so infuriating. Why you gotta get into stuff? Why you gotta be like that? Wow. I think somebody got the skip there and went ahead and did the jumping over there. What do you mean, Killer Lecter? There's a bunch of optionals in here. This is why people run this so often. There's just so much XP. So very much XP. All the XPs. Oh, is that what you meant? Yeah, XP is awarded at the end in DDO. I love this quest. It took a couple tries to get to the point where I love it. But I love it now. Great XP, lots of fun. Lots of fun stuff in this quest. That was kind of rude. Oh, hey, we're not going to attack you. We're just going to sit here. And then as soon as I go sneaking, they go, oh, no, we saw you. We're going to attack you now. Hmm. Yeah, the sites I visit often, I don't bother with any of the incognito mode stuff, but there are some sites I definitely make sure I incognito. Yeah, but that's what makes this one different and interesting, is that you don't do that. Well, you do that here and there, but by the most part, you Mario. Some traps, some le valves, some levers, and you Mario. I still think it's one of the weirdest things. If you search out and see the traps, then they're disabled. And somebody got the 10, so we're good. Got our breakables bonus to destabilitation onslaught, which is Good enough.
We're all good. Oh look, the gargoyles came to play. And they're dead. So yeah, 85, 85k for the completion. Plus the... Uh, Optionals, which is another what 20k, 20 or 30k, so it's like 100k for the first run, and still pretty good for the second run. It's not quite that good, but but I do have different browsers set up for different uses as well. So yeah, I feel understand Gemini what you're saying. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody in. I have feather fall on when I shouldn't. I run this quest quite often because it's great XP for epics and it's just fun. If y'all would stop getting in the middle of my way while I'm trying to disable the freaking devices, that would be awesome. Yeah, I was over my character limit for a while too. Then the 15 month deal came up and I couldn't pass that up. Oh, I forgot. See, I don't play rogues enough. The only stupid thing in the game where you have to actually face the thing you're activating. Everything else in the game, nah, we don't care where you're facing. Disabling traps, oh yeah, we care. This is my only true rogue. I have like a couple with a splash, but this is the only one that's true rogue. And since the kind help of a viewer to get me gear straightened out and the theory crafting discussions we had to change the enhancements around to get assassin and the rogue pass with the assassinate change so it uses decks it's a lot more fun to play than it was before so much more fun All that stuff helped a lot. Are you going to wait? Nope, you didn't wait. No one's going to follow me, I'll just wait. What's fires of purity? I don't want that. Ah, farm, thank you, that's what I needed. All I need was fun, thank you. So I got caught by air jet. I am not standing in the air jet. Thank you. Oh, I don't know, 30% XP bonus? I'd wait for that. The person who cast Fom on me just won the day there.
I don't have a source of that yet. I need to get some uh, cove boots or something. Let's see. Yeah, I'm only 23 though. Cove boots are 24, aren't they? I believe so. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and buff me, it's not a problem. But if you're not going to buff me, then I have to wait till the grease goes. I have fought my way up that thing a couple times without fawn through the traps and everything, and it was not fun. Let's just put it that way. Oop. Crap jump. Somebody missed the... Do I have a throwing weapon? Yes, I do. Here we go. Got it. Zerg the Zerg to Zerg the Zerg. Yeah, I think this is going to be one of mine that I show on Zerg Show. Because I know it pretty well. People are skipping breakables, which I, I noticed some people skip the breakables in the second run, and it's really not that big of a deal to go out just slightly out of your way to get the, all the breakables, so I don't understand that. Yeah, it is just 2% extra. As long as you get at least the tamper, the 8%. But still. We're XP running, so might as well. That's the way I look at it anyway. And the worst rubber banding in the game. Love it. There's one thing I would change. It's to change that so that we don't rubber band. So you can actually tell what you're doing and not get teleported around a couple times like that. Oh, I thought I had to skip there for a minute. Nope. No love. No joy. Did I get... Yeah, I got some more inventory space in this character, so I should be good. He got those. Somebody's over there getting those. Oh, hey. Healing circle. What? I can heal while I get hit. Sometimes it it's worse than others, but yeah, it's annoying. Nope, they already got. And there we go. Another 65 plus another 20-ish, so it's worth running. And I forgot that I had Edor as well. I recalled last time and said Edor because I forgot about it.
I don't know what we're doing next. Where's everybody going? I don't know what we're doing. I don't know why you'd go that way when it's just as easy to go the other way, unless you're going to market. Offering of blood. That's one I haven't run in a while. I need to make sure I remember how to get there. So... We're going to airship directly there and not worry about refreshing any buffs or anything. Uh, there it is. Yeah, always have a striding item. Always have a expedition retreat or haste if you can. Anything that increases your base run speed. Oh, we're doing Whiz King first. Okay. Thought we were doing other thing first, but okay. I can do this. I really would like the map to be larger. Yeah, we're just doing whisking. Okay. I cannot solo a tower in this. On this particular character. Mm, I need to get some uh, Thunderforge weapons here going. Yeah, Gemini, that happens to me too. It's dumb. They have just one generic message for it. I tend to not do, and then get like three bundles at a time, and then I have to wait. Turn in one and a half and wait, and then do the other one and a half later. It's dumb. Well, the other option is a couple levels of bard or something. Barb, bard. Something gets you a run speed boost, monk. Yeah, clay golems aren't my friend either. But I can do this for you. Once you've got the aggro, can I disable these? Never actually played a rogue in here. Oh, that's nice, right between them. Woot. I helped. Sure, Queen. No problem. I would prefer not to be... Well, I prefer not to have aggro. First of all. Mummy rot my butt. Get off me, mommy. Well, it's keeping people from fishing for codes. I understand that part of it. 
because you can just make a bot and eternally try codes until you get something and steal other people's games. I understand that from that respect, but if I'm putting in legit codes, then let me keep putting in legit codes. One or two misses, okay, maybe I typed something wrong. Not a big deal. Let me have it. <sighs> this isn't going well. I need you to let me go. Stop harrying me, you stupid... Urgh. Wow, that person just put like a hundred question marks in the party chat. You do know you're probably going to get booted and skelched from any, everybody on this uh, party, right? If you do something like that. Oh my god, let me out. Oh, we're in knockdown territory. Okay. Screw you guys, I'm hiding up here. Oh. Okay. Oh, you jerk. Thank you. That's what we needed. Energy burst to get that stuff out of the way. Heal myself. There we go. I don't mind killing the genie. Just need a bit of help. Put some damage down on you, at least. Yeah, exactly, Gemini. That's the same thing that happened to me. I can put in 20, 25 correct codes, and then it'll say, oh, you need to stop putting invalid codes in, but they were valid. What the heck? They were not invalid. I think that's just their generic message for stopping. Which shouldn't be there. Should let you go if you're doing correct codes. I liked it when the bundles were linked to your Steam account to some extent, because then you could just click and it would redeem it. It was a lot easier than having to copy and paste. Keep opening up the add new activated product on Steam window. But I like being able to trade codes a lot easier as well, so there's that. I've got a text file of a bunch of codes that I haven't used because I already have the game. So yeah, I'm using the Sacrificial Dagger and the Blade of the High Priestess right now, which are pretty good for level 20 and 21, but uh, at this point, I'm almost, well, I'm 23, getting close to 24, I should be able to use Thunderforged and get a huge DPS boost that way. Yep, Steam discontinued that uh, ability. So, uh, the person who um, 
Still the question marks. Lost connection. So what they asked was, anyone in? Which, if you're at the quest entrance and you click on it, it tells you it's active if people are in. So I don't know what the problem was there, but then they disconnected. So I'm guessing range quit, but you never know. Sometimes it's a power issue or something, transient network issue. So we're waiting for them to come back. Yeah, city, sure. Yeah. Obviously, it was, wasn't the uh, right thing. Do I have any... See, I usually don't run this, so I don't stock the potions I need. Remove curse, remove disease. Plus, I was low in inventory space. Now that I bought some inventory space, I should be okay for the stuff. Yes, that's why we're waiting. Somebody just said that that person DC'd. As if the whole point we're waiting isn't because that person DC'd. Some people sometimes just don't understand. It's weird. So in case you don't understand, proper etiquette when someone DCs is to wait and not finish the quest if possible. It's a middle of the fight kind of thing. Okay, you know, that's understandable, but if it's just a random DC and you can not finish the quest, then giving them a couple minutes to come back is uh, kind. And we're done waiting. Ooh, spell agility. I'll still pop a uh, D door here. Oh, I do have an invisibility clicky. I forgot about that. Oops, should have been using that. And my shield to protect, protect against those magic missiles. Oh well, I'll remember this time. Welcome back, city. I think I should probably swap some of this stuff in because I don't really use Sunder Trip. Yeah. DC is uh, 12. That's not going to be useful. So someone went AFK and isn't recalling out of the quest, and someone else DC'd. Not quite the efficient XP train I had hoped for. Oh, he's back. There we go. Let me go ahead and throw these down here. Oh, let's go back in. I love that auto join in when the quest is already active. I wish it happened every time. And not just in that particular circumstance. Did 
that makes more sense. Or, no, this makes more sense. So four is the shadow training two. Three is the poison, which isn't really useful on most of these guys. The gnolls, yes, but besides the gnolls, there's nothing much useful in here. Successful assassination. Oh, that's right, the traps are random. Um, yeah. I haven't watched anything in a long time, so... One of my favorites is Legend of Galactic Heroes, of course. Uh, let's see what do we have on the shelf. We have Marmalade Boy, Speed Grapher, It's really been too long, I couldn't tell you. Off the top of my head. Okay, City, no problem. This channel's fairly active, and I'm here on Tuesdays. Other people on other days. Feel free to stop by again. See you next time, City. Have a good night. No, I'm sneaking, not searching. Where did I get that notice for those? There it is. Over there, on top of that. How about that? I never realized it was there. So to get there, I'm supposed to feather fall that way, maybe? No. I don't see how I'm supposed to get up there. To actually disable that, especially with all these guys sitting on the ramp. Come down. Except I don't want to go into the trap. I want to go... No. Parry on time. Of course, all the Ghibli stuff. Particularly, uh... Naushka. Naushka's really got when we start, what got me started on anime. Although I didn't know it at the time. Because it was the US version. What? Why am I out of stealth? This is... all. Again, I should be with the shield. Cloak. But yeah, we watched all sorts of stuff when we were in Anime Club. Uh, my friends here actually from um, that time, and they did some translation. And we used to go to Anime Cons together. And knows a lot of the voice actors and translators and stuff that work in the industry. 
So. Thank you, burst those guys. I can't take them down, I can help. I am trapped. I cannot move at all. There we go. But I haven't really watched much in a long time. I have friends who still keep up with it, but I liked One Piece for a while. Yeah, I have to go over to the shelf and look to help spark my memory. Macross Plus and Ghost in the Shell. Oh, is this? No, it doesn't. That was perfect timing. I feather fault exactly as I hit the floor. Bounced back up a few feet and came back down. Run this so often that the name loot is not really attractive. Anymore. I mean, no target, it's a freaking ability. It goes in front of me. No target, my butt. Okay, let's see how they run. Some people run straight from here, some people recall first. Looks like we're running straight from here. I think I'm gonna make my level tonight. That's happy. Mommy rods. Where's my invisibility clicky? Here it is. Hopefully three minutes will be enough to run. Maybe I should put my expedition retreat on as well.
don't generally go this way. So, yeah, I don't know where we're going from this side. That's why I hate about offering a blood is the run out there. There really needs to be a teleporter or something. And I don't have Feather Fall on. Yes, I do now, and I didn't get it in time. Yay. Oh, I hate offering a blood. Now I gotta go this way, and I forgot how to go this way. If I come from the start and take the right way, then I can get it. Otherwise, I get all sorts of lost, and I have no idea where I'm going. I know it's up there, but... I know you have to jump across a couple of things that you should, doesn't look like you should be able to drop across. And all that fun stuff. So I need to come all the way back up. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Somebody running in from the start? And my invis wore off. Awesome. Hey, that's correct. I'm in the right side. Aren't I? No, I'm not. Darn it. It's something like that, but it's not that one. over here. There it is. I got it. Got there eventually. I might end up piking this one. Doing how fast they're going. Oh, hi, guy. How's it going? Yeah, back in my day, we had to trade tapes if you wanted to watch new anime. There wasn't any streaming or downloading or any of that stuff. So much easier now. Now I'm not even doing it. It's funny. A lot of the stuff that my friends buy anyway, so if I want to watch it, I can just borrow. This is not the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go that way. Don't these guys have leashes? Come on. Get off my butt. Shouldn't die through that. <laughs> no, it was uh, it was interesting watching nth generation tapes of sometimes untranslated stuff. It was definitely different than people have it nowadays by a huge degree. Really? You guys are annoying.
how I wish for an abundant step. Get off of me, you jerks. That's why I used invisibility. That will help me get ahead a little bit, hopefully. Going to one three. Yeah, it was a very different time. Now you've got what Crunchyroll and stuff bringing them out within a day or two or simulcasting the Japanese broadcast. That's just amazing compared to what we used to have. Really amazing. Quality is so much better. It's so much easier to find stuff. And... Oh, I heard about that one thing. I still have some of my old tapes, just because I haven't seen them anywhere. Things anywhere else. But yeah. Yep, I used to do a lot of anime tape printing before they had entire sections in stores and stuff. Yeah, people used to have to subtitle that stuff by hand, and then they distribute to other people. It was a crazy time. And you get other people doing it better or differently, because, you know, translating, you get some flavor, flair in there. Not everything translates directly. You can interpret it differently. One of my final projects for my Japanese class was to translate an anime. I had heavy help from a native Japanese person because dialects and casual words that we weren't learning. It was really hard. I did. Marmorat's gone? Where did my Marmorat go? thought I still had it. Alright then. I'll take it. And the person who just in the party is the reason that I have chat muted. Party chat muted. Because some people are loud and, uh, yeah. Not suitable for streaming. Get at least a couple of these things out. My inventory, specifically the gems, potions of wonder, yeah. That should do. All right, we are doing Vaughn three. Yeah, I spent a lot of money in renting tapes as well, but then there's the whole fan subbing scene and people trading tapes and you get a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't commercially released here and yeah. So we did a lot of that. It hurt when I went through a while back and got rid of hundreds of VHS tapes of anime because didn't need any more. Sadly. I really didn't. A lot of stuff had gone commercial so I could get it on DVD and tapes were taking up too much room so wasn't any reason to keep it anymore. It was a sad time.
And then a lot of my friends bought VHS tapes that they then rebought as DVDs later again to save space. So, yeah. And now I've cut back way. I don't, we don't buy stuff anymore. If it's on Netflix or something else that we can just stream, we don't bother with it. Just uh, change in times and technology and stuff. They're on the other side, aren't they? I thought they were. Yeah. So yeah, the first tapes, when I met the anime club at college, the first two tapes they gave me were... Naushka and uh, Ranma. And it just went out of control from there. I think I watched Naushka five times as soon as I had it. And Ranma was an eye-opening experience. Just like if you haven't seen the original Dragon Ball, watch at least like the first episode or two of the original Dragon Ball. Not Z, the original Dragon Ball. It's amazing. I don't really like Z. I didn't really like Dragon Ball, but the first episode or two was just so wacky and wild. If you've never seen <clears throat> Bobo Bo, also, there's another thing to check out. Bobo Bo, 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 or something like that. It's one of those way, way out there shows. That's all it took for ingenious debilitation in this quest? Wow. That's interesting. But yeah, I've seen quite a lot of anime. And I have, you know, the friends I have are those kind that want to find the weirdest, strangest stuff you can find and then inflict it on other people so they're always looking for pushing the envelope and getting the more weird at way out there wackier wilder stuff because that's what they enjoy it's, have you seen this really weird thing here let me show you they do it with music they do it with tv shows they do it with anime just gifs websites any of that stuff Yep. It is strange. But it's neat that all that weird stuff exists. That's what I like about anime, is it's just, there's all this really, really weird stuff that exists. I went to Japan, let's see, what did I get for soundtracks? That was my mission in Japan, was to get soundtracks, because they're a lot, well, okay. So if you buy used anime soundtracks in Japan, they are perfect. There's no scratches. You can't even tell there's any wear. They've been used. They come in plastic baggies with the OB still there. I mean, it's all perfect. All the inserts and cards and stickers and whatever else came with it are all still in it, all in perfect condition, and they're cheap. So I was getting Ronma soundtracks for like a dollar. And I bought, let's see, Fushigi Yugi. I bought uh, Mimio Sumiseba. Um, what's that other one that came out around the time, same time as Fushigi Yugi? Escaflone. Um, Yoma. Which if, if you've never heard the counting song from Yoma, you need to hear it. It's awesome. And uh, I bought some manga. I wasn't really into manga, so I just only bought a few. But it was mostly the soundtracks, because they were just so cheap and easy to find. Uh, 
I see a rune. Where is it? Ah, oh, you got it. That one's done. That one's done. Let's see. I got two. I don't know what the third one is, but everybody else is taking care of it. So. There we go. Need some support to take these guys out. <laughs> he got knocked down. What's funny is I keep seeing the Kickstarters for the classic anime of my era on blue right now. And I just have to laugh. Guys, I paid for that stuff several times now. I don't need it on Blu-ray. I like that it exists and it's very neat, but maybe I'd get Ghost in the Shell just because of the audio improvement. Because that... Oh man, if you got a good subwoofer. Macross Plus and Ghost in the Shell have some amazing music. For subwoofers. But other than that... A little bit of stuff, yeah. There isn't much that would interest me getting on Blu-ray. I might go for like Naushka or something, you know, in that vein. Just because it's probably my favorite of all time. And Log is supposed to be coming out, and I can see getting that, whatever format they release it in, just because that's, yeah, one of the classic favorites. But a lot of the other stuff, yeah. I think I still have that fan-made um, desk lock movie, which was amazingly awful. Uh, let's see, there it is. What are we doing next? Anything? Repeat. Alright then, let's repeat it. You okay, dog? It sounds like you hit your head pretty hard. Yeah, your head's so hard anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, just like that, we switched some people around. People must be uh, looking for groups tonight. What time is it anyway? Oh, it's almost nine. That's cool. Yeah. Getting into almost the fourth hour of the stream. Oh, by all means, keep paying attention to the people in front of you. I'll just come behind you. Do some assassinations. Sneak attacks. Whatever. Whatever I got ready. I have no buffs. Uh, 
Oh, I thought I was sneaking. Chest this time to get out of those places. Did he seriously just uh. the whole movement thing with assassinate is weird. I don't think they can move away from you and Right as you trigger it, and then you miss, or go underground like scorpions do. So be it. That was rude. Finger of deathing the guy I was trying to assassinate. I'm not going to complain about people being in Zerg mode. Fine by me. With that last bit of XP, let's see. I should get it, shouldn't I? It's going to be close. I think I will. <laughs> Again, I assassinate, but they walk ahead of me. Hey, look, I'm getting some kills. Did I miss a trap? Maybe I missed a trap. I had four last time. Where was the other trap? I really don't rogue this very often, so...
Oh, because the other one was the chest. Yeah, there wasn't a chest there. Is the trap still there? The chest not there? Hmm. I didn't think of that. It's all the way at the start. my assassinate. That was amusing. Favored soul ran away from the beholder. My poor little rogue got the kill. Room down over there, nobody's seeing, so I'll go get it. Oh, somebody got it. Somebody was seeing it. I don't really need to sneak on at the moment. Why people don't go and get this extra chest and a couple collectibles? It's worth doing most of the time, I think. Three heels. Oh, please. Knock them all down so I can just sneak attack. That's awesome. That was perfect for me. He knocked them all down. I went stabby, stabby, stabby. Legendary victory. Looks like in flame, thanks. Ready to level. Perfect. Yes. That is what I am talking about. Let's see. Von 4. I really don't want to do Von 4 right now. I know that kind of sucks to have your trapper leave your party when you're doing Von 4, but I think I'm going to call it here. I'm going to go ahead and level up and uh, equip my other spyglass. See about my... Yeah, my destiny's capped, which I should pay attention to before instead of just realizing it now. Some destiny stuff to do. Yeah. So let's do that real quick. Uh, why am I going to House D? I want 
Uh, what in the hell's D? I want Marketplace. I'm not even thinking this character's epic. Marketplace, Marketplace, Marketplace. Thank you. Got it. Oh, that's right, because I didn't go the other way. Okay. Usually take the teleporter to marketplace. This level is a stat level. Woot. Let's go more decks. Cannot have more decks on deck space assassin. Can I have enough decks on, I should say. Well, that's a whole lot of choices, isn't it? I want Watchful Eye. But, looks like I'm about to go with Bulwark Defense. Which is kind of a crappy feat to take. But, uh... It pumps up my reflex save a bit, so there you go. My reflex save is seriously only 51. Wow, I thought that was higher. Really thought that was a bit higher than that. Get back on the ship, get inside, look at my Epic Destiny thing real quick. And make some quick decisions and then call it a night, I believe. I believe the damsels are on tonight. So that would be, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. About five hours from now, the damsels will be on. Same channel. Uh, let's see, what else can I say? Court event will not be on the weekly Wednesday lunch and live stream tomorrow because he's on vacation this week. There will also probably not be a Fridays at 4 for the same reason. So what's left to get in Shadow Dancer? Activated abilities, activated abilities. <laughs> you know what I want? Oh, or Dex. It's really what I want out of this is Dex. And my next trick is going to be, I've got to have better self-healing, so I've got to go Legendary Dreadnought. Make my way over there. Bye, Shadow Dancer, and all your cool stuff for this character. Oh, I do have a twist slot. Ooh, I can twist something in. I just realized that. So, what can I get at level 1? Plus 6. Uh, stealthy, I believe, I will twist in. That would seem to be the best thing to twist in at the moment. All right. So, oh, I forgot to put my spyglass. Do inventory management some other time. There we go. Plus 15 open lock, yay. All right, that should do it for tonight. That was right at four hours of streaming. So, this has been C. Morgan on Twitchy Tuesdays. I'm here most Tuesdays on DDO stream. Again, we appreciate follows from uh, on our personal channels from the stream team and DDO stream. Get notified when we start streaming. Schedule is below the channel or uh, is the placeholder when the video will go off here shortly. Uh, what else do I want to say? 
it's been fun. I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, damsels are coming up. Let's see. And there's really nobody on that I can hand you to. Gemini is uh, in channel and not streaming because of the weather situation. So uh, that's how I'll do it for the night. And thanks, everybody. See you next time.